Yo, what's going on? It's your boy Bat with another video. Oh, and this is juicy top 10 most elite special forces in the world. Who's going to take that number one spot? I reckon I know who it's going to be. So that's what we're reacting to today, guys. I don't know why I haven't done this earlier. It's going to be very interesting to see what the world thinks are the most elite special forces in the world. And we're probably going to find out about some units I have never heard of before, all right? So this is going to be very interesting but first before we get to the video a little bit about me i said five years in the army okay there's all my army pictures behind me and the falklands and depot okay my name's nico um i do military content we talk about different units from all over the world and i also do airsoft okay there's the airsoft kit all right i can subscribe a a and there's me in depot and there's me i'm there and there's me in the falklands okay all right so if you haven't hit that subscribe button Smack it in the face, smack it in the face, hit that subscribe button, okay, guys. Um, I was uh, in a regiment called the Rifles, which is like light infantry, okay, so uh, yeah. Anyway, that's a little bit about me. So, I need to give my post notification shout out. This is for all the guys that subscribe to my channel and turn that bell on. My post notification shout out goes to Andy W, and he says, Awesome vid, mate. Love to watch you after a hard effing day at work. Keep it going, mate. Take care with it. Strong emoji. Thank you very much. If you want a post notification shout out, this is all you gotta do. All you gotta do is press the subscribe button, press the little bell, and tick the box. Geezer. Okay, without further ado, okay guys, boys and girls. Hey, hey, girls, hey, hey. Let's check out this video. Are you ready? Roll the clip. Elite special forces are some of the best trained and most formidable units a country can boast. Whether emerging from the water to silently take out guards, or storming a plane to rescue nice. the hostages and eliminate the hostage takers, okay. special forces take on some of the hardest missions and live some of the most secret lives in the military world. These troops are the ones that states look to okay, in order to get the job on. done. Let's get started. Ten lines. Black Storks, Pakistan. All the special these. Service Group, SSG, is better known in the country as the Black Storks because of the commando's unique headgear. Their training reportedly includes a 36 mile march in 12 hours and a 5 mile run in 50 minutes in full gear. Okay, Only about 5% of recruits make it through to the Pakistan SSG due wow. to the tough nature of this 9 month training course, nine which also months. includes extensive hand to hand combat and an airborne Yeah, school. I knew they do hand to hand Black combat, they love it. train for a variety of environments including mountain, desert, jungle, and underwater. During the early Cold War, they trained and served alongside the special forces, and more recently, the Storks have focused on local anti-terrorist operations, counterinsurgency, and intelligence collection. In October 2009, the commando stormed an office building and rescued 39 people taken hostage by suspected Taliban militants after an attack on the Army's headquarters. JTFTs, Canada. JFT I still need to do a reaction video to these guys. I know, guys. Team, I know. You keep telling me. It's the jewel in the crown of Canada's special forces. They deployed to Vancouver in 2010, ready to intervene if terrorists took aim at the Winter Olympics. This group is trained to handle chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear threats against the worst case scenario when a terrorist strike proves more than local police forces can handle. I think they're a bit low down on the list though. It's against nine. a wide spectrum of issues or crises, and it can be very low signature. That was Ali. Created in 1993. Well, uh, JTF2 expanded to several hundred members following the 9/11. Because rifles attacks. just attached to your side really nice and tight. of terrorists in the world, having killed over a hundred top-ranked Al Qaeda members. Almost all of its operations are shrouded in secrecy, and in some cases were even unknown to the Canadian government. And the number nine. Alpha Group, Russia. Now, what about Spetsnaz? Well, to keep it simple, Spetsnaz is a general term for all Russian special forces. Within the Russian special forces, Alpha Group is as bad as they come. The KGB created this elite group in This is all for show though, I don't, do you know what I mean? It is believed that it operates under the directive of the top leadership in Russia, which is why most of its operations are classified. This force came to fame during the invasion of Afghanistan during which members of Alpha stormed the presidential palace in Kabul, killing everybody in the building in the blink of an eye. In 1985, a group from this unit was dispatched to Beirut to try and rescue four Soviet diplomats. Fair when play. the diplomats were killed, Alpha Group allegedly hunted down relatives of the hostage takers and returned them to their families in much smaller pieces to send a message to would-be terrorists. It apparently worked for over 20 They're ruthless, years. mate. That's Ali. They are ruthless. Say Ray Makhl, Israel. This Israeli special forces is focused in intelligence gathering, and it often operates deep behind enemy lines. In 2003, Israeli taxi driver Ilya Hogiro was kidnapped after transporting four Palestinians to Jerusalem in his cab. 
but the Sayre and Matkal unit located and rescued him from a three-foot pit in an abandoned factory in a suburb of Ramallah. The most famous of their large-scale operations is Operation Thunderbolt, which came to be after several terrorists had taken hostages on board of an airline which was flown to Uganda. Many hostages were released, but over a hundred hostages were kept in the airport terminal building. An assault force of Sayre and Matkal assaulted the position, killing the terrorists and freeing all of the hostages. G.I.G.N. France. G.I.G.N. We reacted to these. France's elite counterterrorism teams are some of the finest in the world so and have proven their abilities and bravery over decades above, of dangerous operations. Above Canada operations. though? But unlike many anti-terrorist units, GIGN is also used in arrest of dangerous criminals, countering barricade suspects, quailing prison riots, VIP protection, and other high-risk police operations within France or former colonies. What I find interesting, Since yeah, founding, with them helmets on, it must be really hard to get our relief when they're looking through the weapon system. absolute masters of hostage rescue and intervention, especially in high-density environments like buses, ships, trains, and airlines. Their faces are not allowed to be photographed fully exposed. Therefore, they're often seen wearing tactical ski masks when operating in public. GIGN is known for innovation in technology applications and tactical methods. Their most famous operation is their assault on Flight 8969, which was an Air France flight that was hijacked on December 24, 1994, by the armed Islamic group in Algeria, where the terrorists murdered three passengers with the intention to blow up the plane over the Eiffel Tower in Paris. When the aircraft reached Marseille, the GIGN stormed the plane and killed all four hijackers. The bravery wow. of its members comes from their extreme training course. In fact, the training is so extreme that the GIGN has lost more men during training than during their 1,000 plus operations. Jesus Christ. Train hard, fight easy, taken very literally. GSG 9, Germany. We the still GSG need to react to these as well. Apparently, these are badass. The German police to rescue 11 athletes kidnapped by a group of terrorists during the Munich Olympics. For all the athletes, five of the terrorists and one police officer were killed during the rescue attempt. In their first major mission, they took a group of four terrorists who had hijacked a Lufthansa flight in Somalia. Three of the terrorists were killed, and the fourth captured during the rescue, but none of the 86 hostages were killed. Between 1972 and 2003, the GSG-9 had successfully completed over 1,500 missions. I like the use of dogs. only discharged a weapon five times, two of which were to shoot the attacking dogs of people they were trying to arrest. An estimated 300 to 400 people now work within the GSG-9, but the exact figure is not known. Its work today concentrates on counterterrorism, hostage situations, and disarming bombs. Wow. J.W. Grom, Poland. Ali. The Grom's at number four. Anti-terrorism efforts. It was named after the Silent and Scene, which was Poland's elite World War II special operations unit. Don't know if I agree Grom with that. Grom began its operations in 1990, and it mostly deployed in unconventional warfare roles as they have special training and operational maneuvering response. Since the terrorist attacks of 2001, the Grom has been deployed alongside U.S. Special Operation Forces in Iraq, Afghanistan, and elsewhere. Mm. During this time, they have developed a close working relationship with the U.S. Navy SEALs and have a well-earned reputation of being one of the fiercest and most competent special forces on the planet. Mm. Their training includes a variety of disciplines. All of the soldiers undergo the same specialized training in anti-terrorism and special operations, as well as frogman, sniping, and parachuting. In four-man teams, each soldier must be prepared to assume the respective responsibilities of they his colleagues. They look so alley, don't necessary. they? That kit literally looks so on point. Approximately 75% of ground personnel are trained as medics or paramedics and can speak multiple languages. In addition, each group is supported That's impressive by several that professional physicians. That's impressive that they can speak multiple languages, to be fair to them. Navy SEAL Team 6, USA. Number you knew these three. guys were going to have to show up sometime, didn't you? The SEALs are an American Special Forces group created in 1962 which have achieved near mythical status. This is, in part, thanks to Operation Neptune Spear, the mission in which SEALs mm. killed Osama bin Laden, the leader of Al-Qaeda in 2011. One interesting fact about this mission is that the aircrafts used in the raid were from Area 51. In fact, Area 51, mate, that is so SEAL Ali! For the raid on Osama bin Laden's car. How cute she is that? Hawks were fitted with top secret <laughs> Their kit is more classified than they are. Forces to slip across Mental. the border unnoticed. These stealth aircrafts were developed and tested at the infamous Area 51 near Groom Lake, Nevada. SEALs will usually penetrate behind enemy lines and finish their mission before the enemy realizes. Mate, that's that mad. I can't get One over that. quality that makes them so effective on land, air, or even at sea. In fact, the word SEAL stands for sea, air, and land, meaning that these soldiers can fight any form of threat anywhere. The physical and mental strength required to make it in this force is ridiculously high. Mm. Training takes over a year and most applicants can't even get past the physical qualification test, which involves a lot of swimming, push-ups, sit-ups, and running. All accomplished in a very strict time limit. And a lot more that, than just that. And you enter general training. 
pass that and you move on to SEAL qualification training. Getting smashed to just be one of the fitness All of this ensures tests. the SEAL members are physically and mentally as tough as nails and capable of undertaking the most difficult operations in the world, wherever that may be. SAS. UK. Number two. Oh, no other just think about that, boys. Force in Europe can claim to be better than the SAS. The British We've Special been put Air in Service, number two. known commonly Ooh. as the SAS, was created in 1941 as a force which could operate behind German and Italian lines and support resistance movements against the occupation forces. The training that a recruit has to go through in order to become part of the SAS is extremely difficult. Since in addition to the 40 mile march, the 2 mile swim, and the push ups and pull ups, you have to survive in the jungle to learn survival and navigational skills, after which you endure survival practice. The final test is a 36 hour interrogation session meant to break the candidate's will. Not convinced this is better than the SEALs? That's called escape and evade, is what she's talking about. The SAS is also trained by MI5 and MI6 security and intelligence services. See, that's Ali. They're basically James Bonds that are just like trained to kill. It's like having a SEAL and James Bond all rolled into one. Their insignia bears the phrase, who dares wins. Not. Number one, Delta Force USA. Hmm. Delta Force is a unit unto itself, composed of members from all branches of the military. The force is armed with cutting edge weaponry and its operations remain highly guarded secrets, but you can bet they're in the vanguard of any American led operation. Its members are not called soldiers, but operators and are said to shun the operators. traditional philosophies of military life. They wear civilian clothes and they work for whomever needs them, for the Army, the FBI, and the CIA. It must be said, however, that neither the United States government nor the military officially acknowledges the existence of Delta Force. It's only in recent years that vague references that by the government to the group's existence intensely have been censored. Since its inception level 10. in 1977, stories of the Delta Force's exploits and missions have leaked out little by little, eventually forming a brief sketch of the unit. However, the group the has only been criticized the for president as well. that are on the fringe of regular laws Can you imagine the that? Your boss being this the president. This causes some to worry that Delta Force has more power and less accountability than any military organization in a free democracy should. Delta Force is funded out of secret government accounts, away from the public eye, and is believed to answer only to the president, making it one of the most, if not the most, elite special unit in the world. Why one of the most? On that stance, I one, actually you agree. Ask? Well, after all, the most elite special forces are the ones that are so secretive that no one. And that's the Royal Marine advert, you idiot. And that's the end of the video. I was really impressed that so she used a Royal Marine ad in a Delta Force position video. That's weird. What do I think of that? Do you know what? Because she says the most elite, and you know, she talks about that Delta Force has a black budget and the only answer to the president, right? I kind of agree with number one and number two for that. I reckon it is da Delta then SAS on that stance, the most elite, yeah, of, of what what capabilities they've got, what they, they have to their disposal, yeah? But Canada at the bottom, number nine. Grom number four. Oh, oh, what do you think down in the comments? I want to see everybody rank what they think is that in the right order, guys? Okay, I want a comment. I know I've got a lot of very intelligent subscribers in my channel. What do you think of that, guys? If you're new to my channel, okay, um, join the Discord group. I will put it, I'll spam it all in the comments so you guys can join, okay? It's filled with people like us who love the military and airsoft and basically just shooting stuff. Like, if you want to be part of that, join the Geezer Garrison. I will link it, in, it'll be in the description. Uh, if it doesn't work, com comment it in the comments and I will reply back to you and I will link. Uh, the discord in the comments except for that guys let me know what you guys think of that what my next reaction video should be okay more airsoft content is coming on the way thank you very much for watching it does mean a lot to me okay guys so yeah that's it that's it from me take it easy peace